Good morning everyone. As you can see this is Predator P0360. It's a gaming desktop PC. And somehow the Windows went corrupted and it doesn't work. So today in this video I'm going to show you how to reinstall system by getting to BIOS, change all the major settings and make it enable for UEFI boot. And by these settings you can either install Windows 10 or 11 the procedure will be the same. So first of all, you need to create one bootable Windows 10 or 11 UEFI thumb drive. It has to be bootable and you can use Rofus to create it with free of cost. So first of all, we're going to connect it. We're going to press and hold the power button to switch it off, which is called full shutdown. And then we're going to press it back again. And simultaneously, we're going to get to the keyboard and keep pressing delete button to get into BIOS. As you can see here, we are on the BIOS screen. It does have many pages. The main section, you can see the model number and the second one advanced option. From here, we're gonna to get to the second option and the settings has to be like that. So if you see anything different than that, please try to correct it this way and that should work for UEFI. Once it's done, we can press the SC button and then press right arrow to get to the different option which is called authentication. From here, as you can see here, the third option secure boot is disabled, so we need to make it enabled. So hit enter and now that's fine. The second one, we need to make the secure boot mode standard. Security section, the TPM, we can leave it enabled especially if you would like to install Windows 11. And then pretty much that's all. And first boot priority, you can change into removable devices. For example, the bootable USB stick and stuff like that. But this is not too important, why? Because we can press F12 to get into temporary boot option and select manually from there, okay? So you're gonna press F10 to save the changes. The, the system would restart We'll get back to F12 while it restart and it will take us to temporary boot option. And the bottom one is my USB stick, which does contain Windows 10 in UEFI. So it's going to load up. We're going to go forward, accept terms and condition, select the internal drive to install the Windows. It's going to copy everything, takes a couple of restart, and then everything should be pretty cool. So we're going to hit next now, install, accept the terms and condition, hit next. So from here, what are you going to do? We're going to delete the partitions. Just remember, if you delete the partition, you're going to lose all your data. So if you do have any important data, back it up before you get to this partition section. So there are two drives, as you can see, the drive zero and drive one. Drive zero is ordinary hard drive, so I don't want to install there. And drive one is my SSD, so I'm going to select it, hit next. Now it's going to copy everything from there, and then it should be ready within a few minutes. So the speed, it depends on your bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drives, the actual USB, how fast it is, and obviously what kind of internal storage that you are using to install the data. Um, if that is SSD, it's going to be much more quicker than any hard drive. Doesn't matter this is 2.5 or 3.5 SATA hard drive. If SSD, that's going to be much more faster. Okay, so let's wait until the end 